What's up everybody? My name is Dr. Jocelyn Conley, physical therapist. And in this video, I am going to demonstrate a few self-treatment techniques that will help you get the most out of your myofascial release treatments in the clinic. So the first technique is called a, basically it's a uh, TMJ technique and we are going to do a compression and a TMJ decompression. I'm gonna demonstrate these techniques in sitting, but I recommend you do them laying on your back face up. So your hand position is going to be underneath your jawline right here. And you're gonna place your hand like so, and you're gonna pull up. So if I were lying down treating myself, my head would be blocked by the table and I would be sinking into my tissue and gently pushing up until I feel resistance, that, that point where it's just not gonna move. Now I'm not doing this, I'm just gently pressing up and holding. The second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fingers and place them at the top of your jawline. You're gonna sink in and pull downward like this. And you're only sinking in till you feel the tissue push back at you. And you're also only pulling until you feel a stopping point. So at this point is as far as I can go. The second technique is Pretty simple and we are addressing the sphenoid bones in the skull and the sphenoid bo bones are really important because inside the skull and in the brain there is an area where all of our fluid that lubricates the brain and the spinal cord it's a really important fluid it is that pressures right near the sphenoid bones, just to keep it simple. So your fingers are gonna press right lateral to the eye. You're gonna sink into the tissue, and then you're gonna pull this way till you feel the tissue resist back. And you're just gonna hold this. The second thing you're gonna do after you do this is you're gonna sink again and pull forward gently until you feel resistance and then you just wait and hold. For each of these techniques, you're going to wait quite some time. I recommend holding each of the positions for five minutes and just waiting and being patient and waiting for the tissue to let go. While you are performing these techniques, self-treatment techniques. It's really important that you stay inside your body. You're not thinking about your grocery list. You're not thinking about what you have to do or how boring this is. You are staying present in your body and just letting whatever come through to flow through. You are being in tune to what you're feeling and just being curious about it. If you're having a hard time relaxing, purposely tense up and then let it go and just as you let go, see if you get more, more of a, a tissue release. Again, you want five minutes per technique. I showed you two, and with each technique I showed you, a, this would be a one way, and then this would be the other way. Uh, one's decompression, one's compression, and then with this, this is a compression, this is the decompression. So each of those would be five minutes. You don't have to do them all at once. It's great to take 20 minutes for self-care and to do that and work on your breath. And with each exhale, just really allowing the tissue and allowing your body to soften more and more. So thank you guys for watching. Again, this is a self-treatment technique that you can do after being treated by a myofascial therapist and 
this can help with anything from back pain, from neck pain, jaw pain, just tension in your, your head and your neck. Sometimes I'm treating the cranium or the skull and the neck for pain in, in the pelvis or the hip. So super powerful, just you gotta stay present and don't rush.